MB Live MOBA. Oh, no, sorry. It's not MB Live MOBA. It's Rise of Kingdoms, and today we will have right now our Julius Caesar as a subject for our 1322. Very broke. But do you want to see this one out? That we will. Yes, there you go. There is something notification right there. And as what you see, we will upgrade a of course his skill. And what is this? What is this guys? And this is what you call the newest skill lock feature presented by Lilith. We've expected this so much, but you've been fooled. <laughs> Welcome to April Fool's update, where you are little expected that you will expect that you will choose what will lock and what will not. But here, man, can you see this? Boom. If I lock that one, lock that one, only these two will randomly. If I am boom, you got to begin. Or if that one, which is so lower, I cannot. But that's the moment. I think the purpose of this skill lock is to upgrade still do the strategy what we are still doing the strategy but here at this one for example you want to upgrade this into five after unlocking that into five of course the only focus is if you unlock the second one which is only two more and after that you can focus on to this one which is three and this one <coughs> two ah sneeze time has come wow <coughs> sneeze time at spring huh sorry for that delay now aside from that Lilith added a new feature. It is called um skill reset. We need to be tricky here. What? What hurt? Go me back at Rise of Kingdoms. Oh my goodness. I think we should reload this new round here. There. So right now, we will just wait for this screen. While we are waiting for that screen, um, Announcement You will have uh, we will have our MBA live mobile But that's it We'll have that one now promise Because I want to show you some new West updates. I want you to see like life tokens that you can no longer have um um Stamina for stamina for for yeah for that playership right. So that's how you will do it. You should have um at least so so many. Mm, Life tokens to just 
do the life today events. I think, yeah, we're too late. We are actually too late for that sad face incoming. Now, right now, let's upgrade really quick. I have right now a 311. So, let's use the skill lock feature. And boom. So, what will happen? I will just go into. Yes, I want to do that. Saved. Back. There we go. If I used straight this Edward. Boom. The only one will, of course, is the top skill. So the the trick here is the main purpose of this skill lock is to prioritize your first skill, which is your active skill, and act after that active skill, go rest, rest. Do the rest of all your the second, third, and the fourth. So that's it. How let's have our next, which is also this one in the next meeting. Since we are having right now, um, of course, hard time we don't really have that, um. Uh, what do you call it? Gold heads. We will do that one next time. But I wanted to show this one. Can you see this one? What on earth is this? Severely wounded units is different from siege unit zone. What is siege unit zone? Wait, wait, wait. Please explain. What is siege unit zone? I press this one out. And I saw, um, Fate of Severely Wounded. Severely Wounded, you seizure it will enter the seizure it, so which can hold. What? Okay. Severely Wounded Siege Units will enter the Siege Unit Zone, which can hold an extra 50,000 Severely Wounded Siege Units. Once the zone's capacity has been reached, any additional severely wounded siege units will be sent to the hospital with other unit types. So what is the purpose of this one? Lily, mm -hmm. uh, is this an additional siege unit? Or what? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> Let me explain. I thought that um, if this, if you, for example, you battle with the siege, then you have a 50,000 additional. Let me just see. Yeah that one after that filled up siege unit i thought every siege unit that will fill up my hospital will die but i thought of that no what is going on what is going on so that's all why do we still need to add this siege unit zone i know it's very equal that but these units are not capable to fight. Why do we need to choose them at the first time? Why do we still need to choose get um um siege units? Why do we still need to have to? If we will not use them for fighting, we will use them for guiding. But the trick here, Lilith answered you. What if your siege unit got attacked by another player? Seriously? Farm attackers are real, guys. Don't be ridiculous. Siege, I know, yeah, farm attackers are real. They attack farms and kill men. So that's the purpose of that one. And of course, if you siege troop load, of course, siege units. You will not send all of your siege units to fill up your full cop hospital right over there. No. It's below 50,000 to up, yes, up to that point. Unless you are gathering at the 
alliance pit but alliance pit you cannot attack them so that's it so what's the purpose of this one Lilith please answer me so that's only it guys if you like this video like and subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell and click yeah um, all so you can get all of my future uploads and share this video of course if you found this helpful so that's only it guys and always peace with sneeze time